Bottoms up. Here we go. There he is. Big arm bear. Big mass dynamics arm bear. What are we gonna do for the guns today? We could do like a kind of what CT Flusher's last video was. What was it like? It starts off with just tricep push downs. And it's called a partner chip picket. You do 10 sets of 10 and you keep it in between like a hundred and then a 150 pound, you know, pound range. Yeah. And you, the guy doing it can't look. Then the partner just sits down there, picks different things. You gotta do 10, rack it, I'll pick like 140, 10, rack it, I'll pick 120, you do 10, and then I'll just keep putting it. I'll never it's, be able to do 100. Yeah, hey, hey, you will. Yeah, you will. I, I've done it. It's hard. What a break do you take, though, in between? Just long enough for me to change the pin. It's <laughs> you, tough. Just, you wouldn't be able to keep going after you like You can, but you will be able to. <laughs> Your arms really burn. Your arms really burn. Your arms really burn. And also, we should max out on barbell curls. <laughs> max out right, right away. <laughs> Let's do it.
Step into my office. So that was TB's first arm workout in probably what, two months, two, three months? Probably three at least. You probably haven't done an arm workout before the powerlifting competition, have you? No, I've not sent That just kind of shows that you really don't need to lift arms. <laughs> <laughs> have big arms. I think you can have pretty big arms by doing, uh, by doing heavy presses yeah. and deadlifts. Rows and rows. deadlifts. But maybe maybe do an actual arm workout just gets you like a little bit more of a peak, you know, like <laughs> not necessarily even bigger, but yeah. just a, like a little bit more separation there. I don't know what you guys can go through and kind of see what we did, kind of see what the way we did. Give it a try. Go lift the partner. Lift the arms with the partner. You can make it way more intense. Yeah. The Drop top. sets. You don't have to take as much breaks. You know, you see another guy having a shitty time going through pain. You know. You gotta do it, he's gotta do it. Try it, do exactly what we did. Comment on the video, Facebook, whatever. Tell us how you liked it. And uh, yeah, any more ideas that you want us to do, you know, whether it be a different arm workout or something like that. Like maybe CrossFit or burpees and cleans and presses and clean and jerks for time. Nah. <laughs> and another thing, I mean, we were stupid tonight. Like, obviously you're not gonna go and max out on barbell curls is just something. Unless you're tough. I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess you're tough. Or in high school. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. But yeah, maxing out on barbell curls serves we absolutely just, no We purpose. just did it just because, I mean, we've did it before. <laughs> we'll do it again. But, but uh, you don't need to even lift heavy. Like, no. them skull crushers, what we were doing, we were using 25 pounds. And as long as you don't, you do a lot of reps with them, get the blood in the muscle, you're good. Same thing, we weren't doing very heavy on rope curls. And then when we were doing our drop sets, we only had enough fives on there to make 25 pounds. And you know, by the end, I was having a hard time with the bar. That's, I see numerous 150 pound kids with 12 inch arms using more weight on curls than we use. <laughs> the best exercise for squats, or for uh, your biceps, I found is squats. I mean, it's kind of true, isn't it? Like, <laughs> that's what I mean. You, do, you get a good squat. Yeah. You never see like guys with over a 500 pound squat with, with like, a tiny with with anything. That's a wrap. And one more thing is science. It's math and numbers. Math and numbers. Click on the videos and the pictures on the screen right now so you can buy more of our stuff and so you can watch more of our videos. And don't you ever forget, it's science, it's massonomics.